I'm Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. From the sideline, our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. We've got the Boston Celtics and the Philadelphia 76ers. Well, we have two loaded backcourts here tonight, Clark. It should be Boy, a very nice. intriguing matchup. You know, Kevin, in years past, it used to be the small forwards were your dominant scorers in the league, and that's still pretty prevalent. But in this day and age, well, I tell you, the point guard play. Not only are those point guards able to assist and set people up and lead their teams, but a lot of them are high-octane scores as well. A lot of fun to watch. Make a lot of things happen on both ends of the floor. No doubt. And now the opening lineup for Boston. Down low, it's Morris and Horford. Kyrie Irving is out there with Marcus Smart. And it's Tatum in at the small forward. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Tell you what, that's impressive strength there from Tatum. You got to respect that even when you try to wrap him up. He finds a way to score. And when the Celtics traded out of the first overall pick in 2017, you know, many Greg thought they were settling for Jason Tatum for team needs. But he might be the best overall player in that draft. Listen, the Celtics said they would have been fine taking Tatum first overall, and I believe him. I mean, Tatum looks like he could be a superstar very early in his career and does everything at a high level and is already a terrific shooter from deep. Plus, he just has a poise and an air about his game that speaks of superstar. And there's so much that Tatum does well. I mean, he shoots it well, rebounds, passing, playing defense. I mean, he's the complete package. Now, here's Reddick coming off a solid outing against Denver. No good from Simmons. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Irving's shot is good. I, I love the three-point shooting of Irving. Excellent at dialing it in from deep, and you've got to respect his range. Simmons finds Embiid. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Boy, it's a thing of beauty watching him attack the defense like that. I mean, they wanted no part of him on that layup. Now here's Smart. Ball's knocked loose and stolen by Butler. To the inside, Reddick trying to get open as Butler. And it's sent back by Horford. Down low. A nice shot by Tatum. Tatum's got five. Yeah, and you know, Tatum's a solid scorer on the interior. Good at getting the position he wants and needs and then cashing in. And Reddick kicks to Simmons. And he uses the glass on the layup. Hey, and when guys at this level are that close to the basket, they ain't missing. I mean, especially when there's no defense in the neighborhood. Passes it to Smart. Over Reddick. Again, the Celtics good for two. Lights out here, right out of the gate. Perfect 4 4 from the floor. Simmons passes to Reddick. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the call foul on Boston. And what patience from Simmons on offense. I mean, really skilled at making the defense get a little shaky when he has the ball. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. You know, when you watch Ben Simmons, he has marvelous talent and all-around ability, but sometimes you can easily focus on what he can't do. He's not a great shooter, so teams do back off of him, but still, this guy is an impact player because he sees the floor, he passes it great, he's a terrific rebounder, and he's got a nice motor. He makes one of two that time. 
And for Simmons, missing his rookie year due to the injury, but he showed he was worth the wait. No doubt. And you just don't see players with his skills and his body type come Out around that often, Kevin. I mean, he started quickly out of the gates and took over the Rookie of the Year award race almost immediately. Murford kicks to Smart. Shot clock at six. And Ben Simmons picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. About three minutes gone here in the first quarter. Out of bounds, out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. And let's take a moment to look at some stats for Joel Embiid. Coming off a terrific season. He averaged about 23 points per, 11 rebounds, and three assists. And the numbers, while pretty outstanding, I mean, we've now come to expect that from this guy. Completely in harmony with what his coach is trying to do there. Just a marvelous all-around talent. Irving with the steal, and a fast break now for the Celtics. Outside, smart. Shoots over Redick. That one, no good. And Philadelphia the other way now. Four or five to start the game. That's their first miss. The pass to Simmons. Back to Redick. He kicks it to Butler. Here's Embiid. Tries again. And the layup is good. Embiid's got his second basket of the game. Yeah, MB plays with really good effort, and he plays with an effervescence that's contagious, and it's really endearing for a guy of his size. Irving finds Smart. To the inside. And J.J. Redick picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Or for the pass to Morris. Irving against Harris. Just five to shoot. And that one's good, Irving. It sure was textbook, and Irving is fantastic in the screen roll. A solid decision maker in these sets, and he also can put it in the basket himself if he needs to. Now here's Reddick. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And that one's good, Simmons. He got a little fancy with the fadeaway on that one. Simmons against Irving. Pass to Smart. To the paint. Butler with the steal. Inside, Simmons. The shot's good on the assist by Butler. And it's seven points for Ben Simmons. And it's Irving with the ball for the Boston Celtics. Their last encounter was in Boston. Yeah, and they picked up the win in their last game against this club, and really it was a parade to the free throw line. Yeah, it did a really good job of drawing foul after foul. Very physical and rugged in how they performed. And it paid off. A top-notch postgame is just one of the ways Horford helps his team. One of the more important ways, though, is because he's a tough matchup down low. Count the basket. Simmons got nine. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, Greg, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. And now the first time out called here for Boston. And no doubt that Marcus Smart is one of the better defenders at his position. Quick feet are complemented by that strong frame and he just digs in and against would-be scorers and just never lets them get comfortable.
And as we have a moment now, let's take a look at the three-pointer to two-pointer shot ratio here in the postseason for Boston. And Boston has possession. Outside Irving. Pass to Smart. Shoots over Redick. Smart misses. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. And stolen by Tatum. Over Harris. Misses off the right iron. For Philadelphia, they've gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. A miss that time would have put him up. Cannot give him that much room for mid-range. They got to feel lucky he didn't knock that one down. Smart misses. Not a lot going his way. Everything he's shooting is just off the mark. I mean, somehow he's got to figure out a way to turn it around. Now here's Butler. He had 22 points in the win against Denver. Yeah, passed the ball well that last time out. Pinpoint passes and racked up a bunch of assists. Now let's find out what head coach Brad Stevens had to say to David Aldridge. David. Well, Kevin, he said one thing that's been successful in the first two meetings against this club is that they've switched things up defensively. He told me we like to mix it up, show different looks down the floor each time. That makes it hard for the defense to anticipate what we're trying to do. We'll see if that strategy leads to a third win in this season series tonight. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks for the report, David. So the goal is to come out early and get their shooters into a good rhythm right away. And, of course, that's always a goal. But, but the meaning behind it is that he wants them to play good, smart basketball, not taking too many chances. You're right on top of it, Greg. That doesn't mean they can't be assertive offensively, but good shot selection and ball movement has to be the priority. Here's Simmons. Jason Tatum picking up that last basket. Ben Simmons, such a force when catching the ball, moving at the rim. But you know, Clark, he can get there on his own just as well. Yeah, he's got a great net for being able to get where he wants to with the ball. His size and strength and agility certainly help him. Uh, and he understands angles. This guy is just a jump shot away from being virtually unguardable, in my opinion. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. He's off on the first. And the regular season officially begins. Most rookies around the league, Clark, will have their eyes wide open. I mean, wow, what an eye-opening experience to play with this speed, this talent. How nervous were you going back to that time in your life? How nervous were you on opening night? Very nervous. Really excited. But there were some butterflies that I had to work really hard at trying to get them to fly in formation because they were all over the place, Kevin. But ultimately, once you get out there and you break that first sweat or you get that first hit or bucket, then it simply becomes basketball. But prior to that pregame meal, your nap before the game, butterflies are doing their own thing. Hayward kicks to Rozier. The Celtics need to get a shot off. Two on the clock. Irving misses. The 76ers trail by four. Outside Butler. Simmons against Rogier. Shots good by Simmons. You know, I think it's essential that Simmons becomes consistent from deep. I mean, once this happens, everything will become a lot easier for him on offense. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. With the amount of characters and personalities on this Sixers team, Clark, you can't help but notice the attitude they play with. Yeah, they play with edge. They play with brashness. Some would say arrogance, but all of the championship teams have some element of that, and that's where they're looking to go. On occasion, if their emotions get out of whack, they could get them in trouble, but I think they'll learn as they grow to tone that down and use it in a positive way.
Yeah, and checking out some stats here for Ben Simmons. Coming off a terrific season. Fifth in assists, eighth in steals, and a great touch around the rim. Top 15 in field goal percentage. And as you said, dishing out dimes at a top five pace, he was in total command of the offense last season. Look for more good things to come. Here's Baines. Dishes it to Brown. Passes to Rozier. Kicks to Baines. And that one is stuffed right through. Terrific timing on that pass, placing it in a great spot, ideal spot, where his teammate could score. Rozier against Simmons. The pass to Simmons. Shoots a fader. Rebound, Gordon Hayward. Boston leading by three. Now Rozier. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Lakers. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. Two shots, gentlemen. Let's take this chance to see which of last season's teams had the most second-chance points in the league. Fifth on the list, the 76ers. This was a team that was really savvy when it came to getting position under the boards and then getting those offensive putbacks. First one falls. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Simmons. And a change for the Celtics. Daniel Tice is checked in for Kyrie Irving. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. The 76ers trail by five. And here's McConnell. Here's Butler. And Baines pulls it down. And I thought he had the space to shoot comfortably there and disappointed that he missed it. Rozier against Simmons. Rozier the pass to Hayward. Back to Rozier. Four on the shot clock. Rebound by the 76ers. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. I tell you what, total team player. When Simmons hits the open man like this, he adds value to his team. Rozier kicks to Baines. The Celtics shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. That free throw missing. When it comes to initiating this play, Clark, uh, for your money, who are the perimeter pick-and-roll ball handlers right now in the game? Well, the guys that come to mind for me, um, Chris Paul is fantastic in the pick-and-roll. Damian Lillard is outstanding. James Harden. And I think Victor Oladipo is getting better. I mean, he's so good at finding seams and using his athleticism to get to the bucket, and he's really grown as a finisher. Kyrie Irving is just a terrific one-on-one -on -one player. Sometimes he doesn't even need... Um, the, the screen guy. He's so good <laughs> with the ball. And um, obviously Steph Curry is, is in that category too. Now here's McConnell. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Simmons. And they pick up two. And you know sometimes it appears as though Simmons is better finishing through contact. I mean he really relishes those opportunities. Here's Tice. He kicks it to Baines. Pass to Brown. Here's Rogier. Six on the shot clock. For three, Hayward. Scott pulls it in. 76ers trailing. Butler feeling it out a bit. 
for the three. A drive by Scott, and he could not get that one to go. What a contact, and he'll go to the line for two. This is his first free throw of the game. You know, this is not an area where they expect him to contribute. You know, he's a guy that shot below 70% last season. And, you know, with his free throw percentage being where it was last season, it changed the way Shooting teams two. defended him. I mean, there were no easy baskets. He was going to get fouled anytime he got near the rim. Uh, they were going to make him earn his points at the line. And it's tied up with that one. And they now lead as the free throw drops for him. Boston's gone one of three from beyond the arc so far in the game. Rozier the pass to Tice. That's tipped. And so it looks like the Celtics will retain possession here. Forty seconds left to play in the first quarter. Shot clock at six. Round down low. Guarded by Simmons. Offensive rebound. Rozier with the ball. The rebound by Marjanovic. Oh, great effort there. That's how you defend the paint. Exactly. Can't play it any better than that, Greg. And too much time in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. Now, here's Rogier. He's covered by McConnell. And, you know, there's no question about it. Hayward is an exciting player and an athletic forward who can really, really score. For Boston, they have shot 80% from the lines tonight going 4 of 5 so far. Yeah, and, and fairly decent a season ago, about 77% from the line. No good on that one. Good on the second free throw. Five seconds left here in the first quarter. To the middle, Marjanovic. Stolen. And so it's Ben Simmons making highlights for Philadelphia. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. We've got more in store for you right after this. Jimmy Butler, a hard worker on the floor and off the court as well, possesses a unique individuality. I worked extremely hard to get where I am today. So whenever you walk to my house, you see a really big, some may call it obnoxious, uh, boombox aquarium. But I love music. I don't really watch too much TV. It's always music. So it's just another thing to remind me, continue to be who you are. Just have fish inside of it. A boombox aquarium, huh? <laughs> Points for originality, Greg. Butler, not shy, breaking from convention, beats to the rhythm of his own drum. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And looking at what we've seen from the 76ers, what do you guys think? Getting high percentage looks, wearing down that defense on the inside. Grinding away down low, man. Just filing them down. Love the bully ball method. Paying off with. And now, brought to you by Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset our lineups. And so, in the game for the 76ers, they've got Marjanovic. Simmons is out there with T.J. McConnell. Then it's Mike Scott. Now, here's Rogier. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. 
Hey guys, I know I'm stating the obvious here, but those could be an important two points considering how close this game is. They get it back. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. Morjanovic has got the lead up to two now for the 76ers. They've been hanging in there. And, and a chance here to jump on top. Rozier kicks to Hayward. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. Yeah, and Gordon Hayward is a player who's always found a way to add something to his game. Now he feels comfortable going at a defense either inside or out. Great strength when attacking the rim and can shrug off those defenders. First free throw is good. And Greg, you mentioned Hayward's strength. That and his ball fakes seem to be not as recognized as they should be. Yeah, I think Hayward has one of the better pump fakes in our league. Great deception with inside-out dribbles to create space. And the things he does, well, aren't immediately apparent. But Hayward's terrific fundamentals are what make him a great scorer. Lots of physical play, Clark, during your time in the NBA. That's been toned down to a degree. Do you miss it being a, a bigger part of the game now? You know what? I think it's still a very physical game. The rules have changed. The way the game is officiated has certainly changed. Some of the tough fouls that you saw in decades past don't exist as much. But I still think the game is extremely physical. So I'm glad to see us move in the direction of toning that down a bit. There's enough physicality in the game. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, guys, last season started with that horrific injury to Gordon Hayward's leg. Now, it's been a long road back for him, but he took heart in the encouragement he received, not just from his family, but from so many well-wishers. He said, you realize how lucky you are to have people from all over supporting you. Guys... David, I think everyone is rooting for his complete recovery. Thanks for that report. Embiid, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Harris comes in for Mike Scott. The Celtics also changing it up. Al Horford is checked in for Aaron Baines. Jason Tatum comes in for Daniel Tice. And Marcus Smart is subbed in for Jalen Brown. That one misses. The 76ers have gone two of four shooting the ball here in the second. Ball's knocked loose. Korkmaz kicks to McConnell. Fended by Hayward. Just five to shoot. Carries it down low. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. Here's Rogier. Pass to Hayward. Drops in the layup for two. Hayward's got four this quarter. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. McConnell finds Harris. Over Hayward. Harris's shot is off. And he's just a tough defender. Good positioning to get after that shot. Did a good job guarding the mid-range. Extended out nicely and definitely bothered the shot. And here are the 76ers now. Jason Tatum missing his last shot. Tell you what, the defense has to be kicking themselves. Just a step late there, and the shooter made them pay for it. Now, here's Rozier. Horford kicks to Rozier. 11 feet away. Good on the shot. Rozier's got six points. Al Horford impeding the defense there with the solid screen. Pass 
to Harris. Over Hayward. Harris, no good. So Rogier will bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They host the Clippers after this game. That game is the first and last of their homestead. Harris outside. Another three for Philadelphia. And what's your take, guys, on the hustle sticks for the 76ers? They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. They also came out of the locker room with their running shoes on. I mean, their transition game has been full throttle. They are just killing them on the interior. Yeah, you can't say that with enough emphasis. I mean, the defenders are just not being aggressive enough down low. you got to play with some physicality in the paint. Now here's MB. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Denver. And he was also a big factor for them defensively. I think he tallied four blocks in the game. J.J. Reddick's checked in for the 76ers. Simmons comes in for T.J. McConnell. And then for Boston. Morris comes in for Gordon Hayward. And Irving subbed in for Terry Rozier. And Philadelphia has possession. Here's Reddick. It's tipped. Now here's Irving. His last outing, he had 24 points. Horford's shot is good. And taking a quick look here at the hustle stats for the Celtics. Great hustle defensively through the first half, contesting everything and racking up the block shots. Another thing, I mean, they've done a great job early of creating chaos on defense, being disruptive and getting steals through the first half of today's game. Harris, two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Marcus Morris picks one up there. Philadelphia is shooting their 7th and 8th attempts at the foul line tonight. And as a group, they shot 75% from the line last season. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. drops them both it, and it's been a really good day for him at the line some other bigs have well documented problems on their free throws he's not one of them now here is Irving he has five you're smart again the Celtics good for two whatever their plan was defensively that time it, it didn't work not if it results in that shot to the paint and stolen by Horford Irving against Simmons. Outside Irving. Kicks to Smart. Back to Irving. Six on the shot clock. In the corner. Tatum with it. That one a little long. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Not much else you can do there. I mean, that's what you want. Too bad they weren't able to finish it off. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Irving kicks to Smart. Great D that time from Reddit. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. Harris against Morris. Harris, no good. For Boston, they've gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. Outside Irving. Back to Smart. To the paint. It's intercepted. Simmons on the wing. To the inside. That's good from Harris on the assist time by Simmons. Harris has got the lead up to two now for Philadelphia. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. And really, whether you're up or down, it's a game of adjustments. Always. And having a good coach is critically important. I mean, you need somebody you can count on to make the right adjustment.
And the 76ers making a change here. Butler's checked in. And checking out some numbers for Irving. Great showing for him last season. Last season put up about 24 points per. Five assists and three rebounds. And he was their top scorer throughout last season. Well, his teammates knew whenever they really needed a basket, just look his way. Now here's Irving. He has five. Just five on the clock. Over Simmons. Count it from 12. Irving's got seven points. Boy, I tell you, I don't know if there's anybody better than Kyrie Irving close to the basket. He has a great feel for how to score inside. Well, for so long, so many were wondering what Kyrie was thinking when he left Cleveland. What is clear now, though, is that Irving doesn't think about it and has flourished on his own. It seems that he really did just need his own team to become the player he's become. Here's Simmons. Marcus Smart picking up that last basket. On the high post. And Boston with the rebound. Morris has got rebound number five here tonight. Here's Smart. Goes straight through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. That one on MB. And Irving is comfortable running the offense. When a teammate's open, he's quick to whip it around and get him a good look. Jonathan Simmons is checked in for Philadelphia. And falls for Smart. And with all the drama Greg that has followed Irving the past few seasons, he reached out to Kobe Bryant for some guidance. And just like Irving and LeBron had to go their own ways, so did Kobe and Shaq. Very few players know what it's like to be in a situation like Irving, but but Kobe's one of them. And Kobe gave Irving the confidence to not be afraid of standing out in his career decisions. And so far, it's paid off handsomely. Unnecessary to go to the fadeaway there it wasn't needed. Could have just kept it simple and taken the easy shot. Butler on the way, guarded by Tatum. Tatum against Butler. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Now Irving. He has seven. Back to Smart. Outside Irving. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. He hit one three in the first, but the well has been totally dry for him in the second. Butler passes to Simmons. Back to Butler. Over Tatum. It'll go. The Boston lead is cut to just one on the basket from Jimmy Butler. Butler's got four points now in the quarter. Irving against Simmons. Irving kicks to Smart. To the middle. That's good from Horford on the assist from Smart. Smart's got six assists now in the game. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Now here's Simmons. Five points in the game. Outside Irving. Here's the three. That one doesn't go. And the 76ers go the other way with it. They'll face the Lakers after this one. That'll be at home. And that'll be the fourth of this five-game homestand. That's it, and the Celtic lead is cut down to just one on the basket from Simmons. You got to recognize, Simmons is a pass-first guy, which is why you can't leave somebody open around. Great assist that time by Kyrie Irving. One ten left to play here in the second quarter. Simmons finds Butler. Over Tatum. Al Horford with the rebound. Horford's got rebound number five here tonight. Smart dishes to Morris. Butler against Tatum. Over Butler. Tatum's shot is off. The 76ers trail by three. 
Simmons inside. He's covered by Irving. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. And I like watching Simmons go to work down low. I mean, with his length and strength, there aren't many guys that can keep up with him down there. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Back to Irving. A three ball. And Embiid pulls it down. Embiid's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Butler kicks to Embiid. Simmons passes to Embiid. Oh, the lob for Simmons. Love the connection Simmons has with his teammates. I mean, once the lob is on its way, uh, you know he's going to finish in style. And that's it for the first half of action. What's been a very close game here. 76ers lead by one. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Here with Brad Stevens. Coach, what did you think of your team's energy in the first half? I think the energy's fine. I thought we did look a little gassed at the end of that first stint for some of our starters, but I thought for the most part it was good. Thanks very much, Coach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks so much, David, and we'll step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after this break. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here with Shaq and Kenny and a favorite time of the year as we're halfway through one of the first games of this fresh NBA season. Ben Simmons putting in some incredible work. He had 14 points, three assists, and four rebounds. He has bounced back nicely from what was a tough night for him in their last game. Judging by that first half, he's back to his old self again. And from what we saw so far from the Sixers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? Well, the three-point shooting was the key thus far. When you're knocking down those shots from the perimeter, it really spreads the floor. You demand respect from the defense. We'll see if they can keep it flowing in the second half. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Celtics? I love it. You know why I love it, Ernie? Because they're getting the ball inside and converting. Not just sitting back behind the line shooting threes. See, that's kept the defense scrambling a little bit, unable to lock in on anything. Get it in, we'll kick it back out. Then you shoot it. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. And if you're just joining us, we've played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. What a game we're seeing from Simmons. And I loved in that first half that they were patient, looked for good shots, and knocked them down. Yeah, I liked how they took the initiative. They were really locked into what they wanted, not letting the defense dictate their shot selection. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Second half underway. Here's who Brad Stevens got on the floor. Down low, it's Morris and Horford. Irving is out there with Marcus Smart, and it's Tatum in at the three, the small forward. Now, here is Irving, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. I don't know if there's a player in the league that has better handles than Kyrie Irving. As a matter of fact, his handles are as good as any I've seen in the history of the game. Smooth, crafty, cunning. Man, it is so two. much a joy to watch this guy do his thing. First one falls for. So he makes both from the line. Textbook shooting from the stripe. Great form, soft release. Mark it up. Redick bounce pass. Here's Simmons. And again, it's Philadelphia. That, to me, is good use of the mid-range J by Simmons, taking whatever the defense gives him out there. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for Boston. And the pass to Smart. That's in for his fifth make of the night. Now shooting at a 50% clip, 5 for 10. 
as we approach the fourth quarter still anyone's ball game yeah neither team able to create much of a cushion Simmons again serving and Simmons kicks to Reddick the basket good off the assist from Simmons Simmons got four assists in the game timely passing leads to assists and that's been the recipe for success everybody on the same page completely in sync tremendous communication and awareness now here is Irving nine points in the game so far Simmons again smart Butler with the steal with the shot Simmons trying to get open and the 76ers tack on two more. And his presence as a scorer, it, it just has a calming effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. Now, here is Irving. Smart finds Horford. Rebound by Joel Embiid. Now that's what we're talking about in terms of the activity level defensively. you got to protect the rim. Mm-hmm. Textbook defense all around. Nice job at contesting the shot without fouling. And that's how you do it. Well done. Well, it's been a great start for this offense here in the second half. Four for four. Smart on the wing. Back to Irving. Over Simmons. No good. Unable to end this run. Well, you, you see the struggles he's having getting anything to go. Yeah, I'm sure he's frustrated, Greg, because nothing is falling right now. And he's going to keep chipping away at it, and that's the attitude. Stay with him. Now here's Simmons following the miss by Kyrie Irving. Clock at six. Here's Embiid, and the 76ers tack on two more. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Celtics trail by eight. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. You're smart. Again, the miss by the Celtics. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Here's Harris. And he can't extend the lead to double digits. That's exactly how you want to play it defensively, Kevin. I mean, getting a hand up to distract and bother the shooter. Uh, not easy to stop somebody this deep inside. Now here's Irving. He's got nine. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Butler. And here's a look now at the shot chart showing the field goals attempted locations for Simmons. And it's really been a tremendous night. He's been efficient. He's been a major driving force in this offense. And it's no small task to try to slow him down. Once he gets rolling, like we've seen in this game so far, watch out. Now a timeout called by Boston. And with the tide running against them, needs to talk it over with his guys. You're exactly right. Halting the other team's run momentarily. Let's see what he comes up with now, Greg. And some changes here for the 76ers. Marjanovic comes in for Embiid. And it's Quirkmaz in for J.J. Redick. Boston also with the sub. Rogier's checked in. Now here is Horford. Eight points for him. Shoots over Marjanovic. Again, the miss by the Celtics. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Well, they're working the glass, really battling in that area of the game. And let's help them stake this lead. Here's Rozier. Tobias Harris picking up that last basket. Morris kicks to Horford. Tatum on the wing. Back to Horford. They need this. That's good. Basket number five on a five for eight night shooting. 
Yeah, I like how Tatum surveys the floor. Great at looking for his teammates, especially when they're open. Down low, here's Simmons, and Simmons slams it in. And how about a little bit of showmanship there as he increases the lead? Oh, I like that. That's got to be, though, a tough pill for the defense to swallow. Well, he's a guy that you know can hurt you with his passing, and right there, he does some damage with his finishing, too. And Boston has possession. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. That'll be Boston as it goes out of bounds. Celtics retain possession. Here's Tatum. And it's good off the back rim and in. Tatum's got 11. And Tatum not bashful about pulling up now. He's got a nice, efficient mid-range jump. Guarded by Tatum. They get a hand on it. And stolen by Tatum. Inside, Rozier. And he banks in the layup. Now just a 5.76ers lead. Yeah, he has a little bit of trickeration with that one. Gets that one to go against the lip. Trickeration. I like that, partner. That's pretty strong word creation. And you've got to be creative, though, whether you're commentating or hooping, especially when you're going inside. T.J. McConnell, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Gordon Hayward's checked in for the Celtics. And here's McConnell. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Six to shoot, and there's the call on Kyrie Irving. That's foul number two for him. Brown, he's checked in for Irving. Morjanovic kicks to McConnell. Five on the clock and stolen by Horford. It's stolen by Marjanovic. He gets it in there. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stats for Philadelphia. Their high-energy defensive effort has paid off for them, guys, with more than a few steals over the course of the ballgame. Yeah, I mean, they've also done a great job of playing in space, getting out in transition every opportunity. Here's Brown after the Sixers pick up two. Shot clock at six. Poke loose. And the rejection by Marjanovic. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Boston. Philadelphia leading by seven. McConnell kicks to Marjanovic. Back to McConnell. His first shot coming late. The shot, no good. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Yeah, I like the fact, Greg, that he crowded the shooter there, made him uncomfortable, got into his airspace a bit. It looked like he forced the shot. Yeah, getting theirs before the defense can set up. Perfect execution. That's how you take advantage of a transition opportunity. Here's McConnell following the basket by Jalen Brown. Down low. Here's Marjanovic up and in on the layup. Marjanovic has got six. And you're not going to pass up that kind of play. Celtics trail by seven. Pass to Brown. The kick out to Rozier. Now here's McConnell guarded closer. And that one drops. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. Now, here's Tatum. 11 points in the game. It's stolen by Marjanovic. To the wing right side. Korkmaz, no good. And here's Hayward. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. Right side, Tatum. Swiped away. Now, here's McConnell. Rozier defending. Go, 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 go. 
defended by Hayward. Out of bounds, Boston takes possession. And, and checking out the numbers here for McConnell, last season's performance for him, averaged six points per game, four assists, and three rebounds. And really for him, it's about putting in the work and improving his game. Yeah, and I think he wants to. It's one of those things where you either want it or you don't, and he does. Now, here's Rogier. He's got eight. Tatum passes to Baines. Here's Korkmaz. He's covered by Brown. And that one's good. Korkmaz. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. And how. I mean, they're taking this defense to task, taking them to school. Every one of their last ten points have come in the paint. Rozier with the ball. He's covered by McConnell. Outside Tatum. Hayward looking over the floor. That one goes in. Time out, time Hayward's out. got nine. And the 76ers decide Started. to take their first time out here. Some changes for Philadelphia. Simmons checked in for Korkmaz, and Simmons subbed in for T.J. McConnell. Daniel Tice is checked in for Boston. The 76ers leading by nine. Simmons left side. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. The 2K leaderboard provides us now with this list of last season's assist leaders. Fifth on the list, Ben Simmons. Very few guys pass the ball better than he did. I mean, he didn't just have eyes in the back of his head. It's almost as if he had them on both sides, too. That's good from Simmons. Boy, the athleticism that Simmons has is downright scary. I mean, remarkable the talent this man has uh, and the potential, I think, to be um, a multi-time All-Star. He's perfect from the line this time. Austin with the ball. They trail by 11. Rozier kicks to Tice. It's Brown on the wing. Shot clock at six. Here's Hayward. No good on that one. Nice D from Scott. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. And as a result, they've got a big lead. And Hayward at the stuff. And if that doesn't get them fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just what the doctor ordered, huh? Some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. Tell you what, fellas, that could give them the energy boost they've been looking for. Now here's Simmons. He's got 20. He's covered by Brown. Charity stripe shot. And that one, good. And the 76ers lead by 11. The Celtics have gotten half their shots to drop in the second half up to this point, going 7 of 14. Rozier with the ball. Eight points for him. Over in the corner, Brown. And again, it's Boston converting. Hey, guys, that's just outstanding confidence from Brown. I mean, getting up with the shot right away and giving the defense no time to react, 
That's impressive. Now here's Simmons. From 13, no good from Simmons. And as he squares up for mid-range, the defender right in his face. Yeah, I like the fact, Greg, that he crowded the shooter there, made him uncomfortable, got into his airspace a bit. It looked like he forced the shot. And seeing Gordon Hayward out there, you have to be glad that he was able to recover the way he has from that devastating injury on opening night last season. And I remember your call of the moment, Kevin. The, the whole NBA world just was shocked on that opening night. Uh, as bad as it looked, it, it seemed to be clean enough to where Hayward won't have any lasting issues with it. The rehab obviously wasn't easy, and, and I'm sure Hayward is just thankful that he's Take been able to come Take back completely Two from shots. that injury. And the first one at the line is good. And the Celtics making a change here. Smart's checked in. is no good and there's so much speculation early in Embiid's career if he would even pan out it's become clear Clark that he was worth the wait well it was all injury related in terms of the questions because he sat out his first two years in the league with some type of injury those injury concerns really the only reason that people question him the talent the size and you love his personality as well but this guy has tremendous skills and he's going to be an all-star for years to come if he's healthy the 76ers have shot 8 of 10 from the line. That's an even 80% free throw shooting here. Irving's checked in for the Celtics. On the free throw, no good. Celtics trail by 10. Here's Smart. Good for his sixth make in a dozen attempts, shooting 50% with that basket. Absolutely fearless. I mean, a, a nice, subtle adjustment there going up against Wint. I could not say it any better, showing you some real focus, taking it inside against the bigger man. Now here's MB. He's got eight, and the baseline jumper, no good. Brown against Butler. Smart. The shot's good. Brown making the play. 15 points for Marcus Smart. That's the kind of aggressive and assertive play they need as we get closer and closer to crunch time. Hayward against Simmons. He kicks to Embiid. And Embiid throws it down. That gives him the double-double. 10 points and 13 rebounds. And MP loves to punch it now. The defense can't let him get that kind of position inside. And so it's Philadelphia in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. Back right after this. And a chance right now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the winner today, the big fella here with the sweetest of dimes. What a plus it is to have a post player who's got this ability to find. Boy, that's a nice asset to have. It's a huge boost to any offense too, Greg. It adds a whole nother dimension when you've got a big guy that can pass. Fourth quarter of action is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Simmons runs the show with Reddick at the two. Jimmy Butler is out there with Harris, and it's Embiid in at the five down low. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. The jump hook. It's rebounded by Tice. Celtics trail by eight. 
The kick out to Irving. Pass to Brown. Here's Tice, defended by Butler. Back to Tice. Celtics passing it around. That one goes. Count it. Irving's got the first points up on the board here in the fourth for the Celtics. Simmons against Hayward. Embiid finds Simmons. A fader. Bank shot. No good. And here's Brown. He'll bring it up for Boston. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong, allowing no baskets. I didn't see that miss coming. I mean, he's usually been money from that range. And it's Simmons. That time on the assist by Butler. Simmons got 10 points in just the second half. Celtics trail by eight. Passes it to Smart. Brown outside. No good from outside. Philadelphia has gone 5 of 9 when they put up the three point shot tonight. Harris dishes to Reddick to the inside and slam dunk by Butler. You know, that's just simply outstanding focus. Butler is used to getting hit on the way up, expects to be bumped and jostled around, and still muscles his shots in. Some changes for Boston. Al Horford, he's checked in for Daniel Tice, and Marcus Morris subbed in for Brown. And, you know, Butler has elevated himself to one of the game's um, all-star players, an all-around player who thrives on competition. Now, here is Irving. Here's Smart. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got his fourth assist in this one. Kevin, it certainly hasn't been for lack of effort, but still, his team needs him to do more out there. Irving against Simmons. The dish to Reddit. To the middle. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. Simmons got four points this quarter. And I think they're winning because of him. I mean, he's hitting a lot of his shots right now. Celtics trail by 11. Outside Irving. Inside Horford. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. And just great offensive execution by both sides, leaving nothing on the table. Yeah, exactly. I mean, Greg, both of these teams completely aligned in sync right now. I mean, they are torching the net late in this ballgame. Still attacking, building on this lead, coming down the stretch. Yeah, he's clicking right now and at the right time too, Greg. I mean, playing with a bunch of confidence in this fourth quarter. And way to finish and cut into that lead a little bit. Yeah, but look at the ba the basket guy still shaking. Well, I tell you what, he loaded up as much power as he could behind that two-hander. And here are the 76ers now. And the basket by Harris. Defensively, this is what you know. He's coming off a hot game and looking to keep it rolling. As well he should, Greg. I mean, he always is looking to score the ball, even more so when he's hot. I like the mindset. Here's Irving. Tobias Harris picking up that last basket. And stolen by Harris. Down low. And Simmons slams it in. I like the variety pack offense that Simmons gives you. A little bit of everything. I mean, and that's huge for his team. When you're guarding him, it's almost pick your poison. Now here's Irving. Kicks it to Smart. Back to Irving. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. Playing big. Willing to go toe-to-toe -to -toe against the guy who towers over him. Yeah, I like his heart there. The competitive spirit. I mean, refusing to be held in check by bigger defenders. That's all heart and competitive spirit. One shot. The free throw off from Irving. 
Clark, if you were a general manager, and, and I think you'd make an outstanding one, during the pre-draft process in particular, uh, a player has declined to work out for you. Would you still consider selecting, drafting? Yeah, I would consider it. And again, there would be some extenuating circumstances. Why has he declined? What have we seen? Obviously, I'm hopeful that my my scouting staff has taken a look at him. And I've seen the kid right. up close and in person and done my due diligence. So I've got a comfort level with who he is and what he can become. But I don't think the declining of a workout That's is enough good. reason to um, just dismiss a prospect that you like. Well, free throw drops for MB. I tell you, Joel MB possesses remarkable talent. I mean, this big guy is graceful and strong. He's a real matchup problem for everybody. Shot is good in the 76ers. Lead is cut down now to just 10 points with that basket from Smart. And it's Butler with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. Outside, Simmons. Got a piece of it and stolen by Irving. Inside, Embiid with the steal. Here's Harris. Slides through for his seventh basket in 11 tries. Boy, the defense looked helpless there. I mean, he's going to lay it up every time when he's got a smaller defender on it. Irving looking for an opening. It's stolen by Harris. And even three-on-three -three break. Tipped away. And stolen by Hayward. Five on the clock. And it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Solid rebound there. And with the score like it is, that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy. Yeah, another column in the stat sheet that hasn't gone in their favor. To climb back, they've got to put forth more effort. One shot, one shot. Well, free throw drops for MB. Celtics trail by 15. Irving passes to Horford. Hayward on the wing. And there's the call on Joel MB. That's foul number two for him. Horford kicks to Morris. Celtics passing it around. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. That's his third foul of the game. Bounce pass from Morris. Clock at six. And stolen by Butler. Tough to recover when you continue to turn the basketball over at this rate. Already in this quarter, they've given away four points. Time for them to refocus on offense. There's the pass to Embiid, and they pick up two. Embiid's got 14 points here in the second half. This is a fantastic performance in this half. He didn't play as well in the first, but you know, you just know with this guy, he's always ready to turn it around. Now, here is Irving. Simmons with the defensive effort. And, and not a night he's going to want to remember. Just not really able to score the basketball. Stolen by Smart. Simmons again serving. Can they get it? And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. That one on Embiid.
shots. Two shots. And that one falls for Irving. He's done a much better job of getting to the line here. Aggressively taking it inside and not shying away from contact. I thought he was settling a bit in the first. The Celtics making a switch here. Tatum's checked in. Both free throws good from Kyrie Irving. Here's Redick. to Simmons and oh boy a lot of contact there but he gets the call and will shoot two shot that one on smart two two shots relax on the first That's good from Simmons. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And this team will make you pay when they get chances at the free throw line. It's helped them pull ahead here today. Irving against Simmons. 13 feet away. And he hits the jumper for two. Irving's got eight points here in this quarter. And the mid-range shot of Irving is impressive. He has wonderful form with that shot. And Simmons kicks to Redick. Simmons the bounce pass. MB wide open. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. He's definitely turned things around in this game. I mean, he was more of a background player in the first half. He's jumped center stage now. Irving with it. Now guarded by Simmons. Pass to Smart. Over Butler. Smart misses. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Here's Harris. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Sunday, the Los Angeles Lakers will come into town. Then on Tuesday, they'll be facing Kyrie Irving and the Boston Celtics. And for that game against the Knicks, it's always interesting for top teams to see how they compare to the best in the East. This will be a chance to see just what this group is made of. So he gets them both. And that puts him right around 90 from the free throw line. Really good work here in the second half. Passes it to Horford. Shoots the three. Connects from three-point range. Just a positive force right now for these guys. And though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. Now here is Harris. Inside, Butler. Basket is good. The assist from Harris. They're scoring boatloads of buckets. It's raining buckets from inside. Well, the defensive rotations, Greg, have been a step slow, and it's really helped them get that ball inside time after time. Smart against Butler. And a wide-open look for Irving. And the three off target. He's still looking for his first three-pointer of the second half after making just one in the first. Butler kicks to Redick. There's the pass to Harris. Basket number eight is all good. Time out, time out. He's attempted 12 shots. And defensively, guys, they've been unable to shut down the middle. Yeah, and they're really getting pummeled on points in the paint here. 
time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Teams of the past would often pound the offensive glass, Clark. I think of the 84 Celtics, but now teams are running only one. Uh, maybe two guys to the offensive boards. I think a big part of it is transition defense is so important that teams now don't send as many people to the offensive glass. But the flip side of that is if you get offensive rebounds, you get opportunities to score and you can thwart transition chances. So I tilt towards trying to get to the offensive glass as long as you've got a couple of guys that, that are really good at it. And now let's present our Jordan player of the game, Ben Simmons. Yeah, and his performance has been a jaw dropper. It must have been feeling great coming into the building tonight because once he hit the court, it was all working for him. He was in a zone. He doesn't take over games like this very much, but it's always possible. And when he does here at home, these fans love it. And it's Irving with the ball for Boston. To the inside. And there's Horford. That's good on the assist by Irving. Horford's got seven points for the quarter. Well, it's fun watching Irving share the ball. I mean, when he concentrates on running the offense, this team is really dangerous. Harris with it. Guarded now by Morris. Another three for Philadelphia. And when you're down this many points, hard to justify leaving a good shooter that wide open. Well, you know what, Greg? To me, it looks like they've packed it in and just kind of given up. Now, here's Smart. Here's Horford. Drops in the short one. Horford's got 20. Major dominance, and it comes so easily for him. Fantastic at getting to his spots on the floor. To the paint. Here's Marjanovic. And Marjanovic with the slam. Don't think you're going to get a better look than that, and it's Butler who makes it possible with an excellent feed. Celtics trail by 21. Irving finds Horford. Back to Irving. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's on Jimmy Butler. In the recent CBA, there have been a lot of provisions put in there for retired players. Health insurance, increase in pensions, Clark, reimbursement for tuition. Two what do shots. you think of these changes? Love them, Kevin. Absolutely love them. And again, credit to the league and to the Players Association for uh, thinking outside the box, reaching back to benefit some of the former players that are actually in need of these benefits and deserving of them. Come on now. Those guys paved the way in many ways for what we see of the league. Now, most players appreciate and recognize that, and for it to be tangibly recognized and rewarded, is uh, great to see. I love it. The Celtics making a switch here. Aaron Baines, he's checked in for Horford. Daniel Tice comes in for Marcus Morris. Jalen Brown's checked in for Jason Tatum. And it's Rozier in for Smart. Now, here's McConnell outside Simmons. He kicks to Harris. Knocked away. Outside Simmons. Five to shoot. Here's McConnell, and the 76ers tack on two more. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Philadelphia. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, there was a sense of that. And, and man, they, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And as one might have guessed coming into this game, it was indeed another big game tonight for Ben Simmons. He was doing everything right, and the points came in bunches. Definitely had the hot hand. Brown right side. And finished off by Brown. And Brown really is at his best when he takes it inside. I mean, the defense has no idea what to do with it. Outside, Simmons. 
kicks to Harris. Back to Simmons. Feeds it to Harris. Pass to Marjanovic. Got it. Good job in the low post. And giving the fans what they came to see, a, a spirited performance. Well, they've got to be pleased with the effort they've seen so far tonight. Everybody pitching in for what looks to be a solid W. Pass to Irving. Over McConnell. Good. And, guys, once Irving finds that groove, it's really just fun to watch him go to work. It's just no fear will take any shot out there on the floor. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily, and the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And, boy, they really put in a supreme effort. It just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thank you, Kevin. Now, Jimmy, you have not been shy about setting the bar high for this team defensively. Now, how do you think you did at that end tonight? Uh, we did our thing tonight. We came out, put bodies on guys. Um, Basketball is a game of runs, and um, they got some great scores, but in the end, we did what we were supposed to do. You got the last run, and that's what matters. Thanks, Jimmy. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, great job. Thanks so much. And that'll do it, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. See you later.